All right, just thought I'd do a little quick video um, on the uh, the rear lock of the Cherokee on my uh, uh, trail Jeep. Um, this is the rear lock. Um, the rear lock is discontinued. Uh, the factory and aftermarket, you cannot get these locks anymore. Um, so I decided to take it apart. <coughs> this is the uh, outer ring. You pop the outer ring off. And then this comes almost all the way out, but it gets hung up on this paw. This paw goes right here. Uh, it should be press fit. I tried to pull it off, but pot metal broke, so I'll just have to I'll have to glue that back on. Um, I'll have to glue this back on too, because I don't think I can get this anymore. Um, if you took this to a locksmith and they rekeyed it, they might be able to get this piece still, but uh, I don't know. Um, but I took it all apart. These are the keys from uh, my uh, that I bought for the outside door locks, and uh, there's all of the lock paws. Basically, I stuck that key in, and then I shaved these down with a Dremel. And now, I can stick this key in. Probably not going to be able to do it one hand. Well. I stick the key in. I doubt I'm going to be able to turn it. And... I guess it's turned. Oh, there it goes. So now get this out of the way. So hopefully you can't read the uh, the numbers on it. Now. Got to put the spring back in. Put this back in. Use this to stick through these holes so I can keep this pressed down inside. Trim off all the excess of this to where there's only that one ledge right there that I kept. Clean up that, clean up this. I was going to see if I could find my good JB Weld. I have two small sticks somewhere, but I can't find it. So I might use this, which I th I th is the same as that stuff, just um, uh, not in the tubes. I'm keeping that to build my other set of headlights. Um, there's a quick preview. It's pretty much done. That goes over there. All I gotta do is add the halo ring to this. Paint all that black. And it'll be done. <clears throat> but, uh, then glue that back on. Glue this back on, which I hope it stays. It's pop metal, so there's no way to weld it. And, uh, should have a rear lock that works. I'll be back. Hey guys. I'm, uh, back with this. It's been actually a couple of weeks since I glued this back on um, took the grinder grinder on the outside and the lock <clears throat> you can see the uh, JB well down there but I ground down the lock so And subside, subside down. There it goes. There's the lock. There's that. 
glued that on <coughs> just a few minutes ago. I say a few minutes ago, it's been a few hours right now. Seems, seems to be tight. Seems like it's going to hold. And all I gotta do is put it back in the back. But, uh, pushing it actually opens the door and obviously lock or unlock, moves a, uh, a latch in the back to lock it and unlock it. Um, did lose the lock pawl though. I have no clue where I put the lock pawl, so I'll probably have to steal the lock pawl from, uh, um, that other, uh, hatch that I got back there. Um, the hatch that eventually is going to be on this thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, let me, uh, go ahead and install this, and I'll have a working lock that I can lock the back with. And then all i got to do is install these in the door and have fun with that. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back. Don't know if you're going to catch it, but there it is. And I actually didn't lose the lock paw. The lock paw was back here in the hatch. So, uh... Oops. And... Still a little stiff unlocking it, but there it goes. Locking, working lock in the hatch. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily too, too important, but I mean, if I am going to eventually drive this some, oh, it'd be nice to lock it. Uh, I really need to get in there and replace the uh, the lock in there, the uh, electric <clears throat> lock. It's not that expensive. I think it's like twenty bucks or something. But you got to drill these rivets right here out, and then fish this out through all this. So uh, yeah, <coughs> um, but uh, it'd be nice to get that. I don't know if it's if it's the electrical that's messed up uh, or what it is. Uh, cause it, it could just be a wiring issue, which would, which would make sense somewhat, but, uh, anyway, talk to y'all later, bye.